we have National 5 unit test practice here. This is for the expressions and formulae unit. Make sure you're revising the correct one. Uh, ask your teacher if you're not sure what's coming up. But this is the first part of the expression and formula unit. This is applying numerical skills to simplify third stroke expressions using the laws of indices. So this covers simplifying thirds, indices rules, and also standard form. So we have a selection of questions. I'll let you read through these. And obviously pause and have a go. Then I'll talk through the solutions. Okay, there you go. Right, the solutions. Well, first of all, when doing thirds questions, we look for square numbers that are a factor of the third. So here are some square numbers. One times one's one, two twos are four, three threes are nine, four fours are sixteen. So we're looking to rewrite the square root of a 20 as one of these numbers multiplied by another number. So 4 goes into 20. So the square root of 20 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. And we know the square root of 4 is 2, so that becomes 2 root of 5. Part B, square root of 18. Quick recap of square numbers. 9 goes into 18, so that's root 9 root 2, which is 3 root 2. Square root of 55, none of those numbers go into 55, so it just stays as the square root of 55. Square root of 630, well that's just like 63 times 10, so 9 goes into 63, so it'll be root 9 times root 70, which is 3 root 70. Into question number two, we were asked to simplify this expression. We cannot just add the square root of 45, subtract the square root of 5. That does not become the square root of 40. We need to rewrite them. We need to simplify them before adding them. Hopefully, they will all be in terms of the square root of 5. So root 9 root 5 for root 45. Subtract root 5 plus root 4 root 5, which becomes... 3 root 5 minus root 5 plus 2 root 5. So 3 somethings take something, add 2 of the same something is 4 somethings, 4 root 5. Question number 3. Which one is the odd one out? Or which one is different? So rather than simplifying, I'm actually going to go the other way. We could uh, easily simplify, but I'm going to write them all as thirds. So root 7, root 9 is root 63. 2 root 21 becomes root 4 root 21, and 3 root 7 becomes root 9 root 7. And just multiply now, the one in the middle is the square root of 84, the other two are the square root of 63, therefore 2 root 21 is different. Question number 4, find the mean of square root of 8, square root of 32, and the square root of 72. Again, we can't just add them all together. We can't do root 8 plus root 32 equals root 40. Doesn't work. Check it on your calculator if you don't believe me. So we'll just simplify them all. Hope it turns out well. Uh, if it didn't turn out well, it'll be a very badly written question. So it will turn out well. So it splits up. Root 8 is root 4 root 2. Root 32 is root 16 root 2. Root 72 is root 36 root 2, so they're all going to be in terms of root 2. So that goes to 2 root 2, 4 root 2, and 6 root 2. Now finding the mean, 
find the mean you add the numbers together, divide by how many numbers you have. So we're going to add 2 root 2, 4 root 2 and 6 root 2 together and divide by 3. So we basically have 12 root 2's, so that's just 12 somethings divided by 3 will just be 4 somethings, 4 root 2. And there we have it, on to number 5. So we are simplifying or using the laws of indices to simplify. So big numbers first, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then k squared over k to the 4, we are dividing, so we'll do k to the 2 minus 4. And that is 2k to the negative 2. And if we want to, we can write that as 2 over k squared. Because k to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over k squared. So 2 lots of that will be 2 over k squared. Part B. We're multiplying here, so we do the large, uh, the normal numbers first. 3 times 5 is 15. Then if we're multiplying powers, we just add them together. So that would be 15g to the 3 minus 1 half, which is 15g to the 2 and a half, which can also be written as 5 over 2. We like top-heavy fractions when doing the laws of indices rather than mixed numbers, so we prefer 5 over 2 to 2 and a half. Part C. Negative 4a cubed times negative 5a to the negative 2. Again, large numbers first. Negative 4 times negative 5 is 20. a cubed times a to the negative 2. Oh, made a mistake there. We would add those. Spot, good spot. So 3 plus minus 2 is just 3 subtract 2, which is 28 to the power 1. And anything to the power 1 is just itself, so it'll just be 20a. Right, D looks as though it's getting a bit tricky, but we're just applying the rules we're using in A, B, and C. So on the top we're multiplying, so it'll be y to the 5 halves at 1 half all over y to the negative 1. 5 halves add a half is 6 halves, still over y to the negative 1. 6 halves is 3 wholes, so it's y cubed over y to the negative 1. Again, we're dividing, so we'll do y to the 3 minus minus 1, which is y to the 4, because 3 minus minus 1 is plus 4. It becomes 3 add 1, which is 4. There we have it. E. 4p cubed over 3p to the 6. 4 divided by 3, we could write that as a decimal, but we like top-heavy fractions. So we're just going to leave it as 4 thirds. And p cubed over p to the 6 is p to the 3 minus 6, which is just 4 thirds p to the negative 3. And again, we could, if we wanted to, write that as a positive power, and we'd have to move it onto the bottom of the fraction if we're going to do that. 4 over 3p cubed. So in this one we have a combination of letters, so first of all 4 over 8 becomes 1 over 2, a to the 5 over a is a to the 5 minus 1, b cubed over b is b to the 3 minus 1, just using the indices laws again, so that's a half a to the 4 b squared. Number 6, that's the one about the camera and the resolution I believe. Calculate the number of pixels, so we're just multiplying length by breadth. Comes out as 840,640. Standard form is always written as a number between 1 and 10 multiplied by 10 to the power something. So here, I would move the decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. That tells me it's going to be times 10 to the power 5. And if we put the decimal point in there, it's 8.4064 times 10 to the power 5. Now, of course, 10 to the power 5 means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And if you multiply that by 10 five times, you'd get back to the original. This is just a different way of writing that number. Number 7. 
is basically a distance divided by speed question. So we have a distance of 2.3 times 10 to the 8, a speed of 3.00 times 10 to the 5. So I've just typed this into the calculator and pressed the answer button and 793.3 seconds. And if you want to input that into minutes, 13 minutes, 13.3 seconds. Question 8. We are given the formula for the surface area of a sphere. We are also told the diameter is 2360, but notice this equation uses the radius. So we just need to half the diameter to get the radius. So then just substitute in 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by 1180 squared comes out as quite a large number, 17 million, almost 17 and a half million. And the question asks, asked us to re, uh, round that to three significant figures, which is basically one to the third number along. Going to round from there, so it'll be 1.75 times 10 to the power 7 after we've turned it into scientific notation. If you can cope with all of these questions, you'll find this part of your unit test very straightforward.